That's fine. But as <laughs> That's you may what we do. Know, I have played a lot of Ark. I have a very really? big soft spot for Ark. Yes. Um, something like how many hours have I played of Ark? A, a lot. Is it Probably over a thousand? Sure. Easy. Easy. I've played played like forty hours. <laughs> Not much at all. But yeah. Oh my. One I've played 1,935.2 hours. I think the point two is a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> I was probably FK for that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's speaking about multiplayer and, and the way that it integrates that, you and I had a great experience recently with Left 4 Dead 2, where mm -hmm. and it was it was incredibly great. It was a graceful handover of a disconnection. So I think your, yeah, yeah, your game crashed, but you I were hosting. But you were hosting. And what happened was I just continued and the character in the game got replaced by an AI. And I just stood there, wait for you to restart Steam, invited you in, and you replaced the character that you were missing. And I, I just think that that's how old With now? One health. <laughs> it remembered how one much, health. It remembered you had yeah. no health. Um but yeah. the, you think about it and you think modern games d don't always have that kind of facility to just come back in, even if they're um massively multiplayer i know if you uh for apex legends that was one of the things i liked about that if you dropped out if you if you like mm. game crashed or whatever providing your squad was still alive you could rejoin and i don't i, mean, I don't know how many having that. to keep a persistent large map going right it's, yeah you could just do a handover and in fact um steamworks has the ability to just assign a new host based on the current game state if your code can can carry it the protocols are there yeah. so if, if and obviously valve made left for dead and valve made steam so it's working off the back of that technology anyway but if you're making a game where if you're doing peer-to-peer -peer networking and one of the peers drops select a new host yeah um but what i thought is interesting was we've tried playing arc a few times sometimes with servers sometimes face to face and mike has less free time than i do because mike has children in the house and it turns out they take a lot of watering feeding exercise like you have to take them out and let them do their business in the street and stuff um is that children so what was happening was every wrong. time we played like a server game mike would come and play like once a week and everyone else was in there like four hours a day yeah so mike would turn up and suddenly everyone's carrying like assault rifles and has lots of dinosaurs he's like so what do i do it's like you can ride this dinosaur I'm like i've never tamed one and, and he's not <laughs> having fun with it no something like here's your world you can now teleport over to yan's world and play there but your world is untouched yeah you can keep developing at your own speed this is your thing if you want people can come visit your stuff but it's that's yours yeah, uh, uh, that feels like an interesting solution for that. For for long term listeners or watchers of of the uh, live stream, that ha arc has been one of those things that's come up plenty of times. I liked the game, but disliked it at the same time. It was a real cognitive dissonance as to what was going on in the background and why I wasn't getting on with it. It it turns out that it's just the fact that um, I think it's almost the cognitive dissonance of you log in and there's like. A whole new village or the whole place has changed it's like you uh it's, it's there's no continuity yeah, just left behind you're not getting the gameplay yes right um whereas my experiences with that my favorite experiences and i will frequently like every few months get a server play it with some friends for like two three months and then everyone burns out and we do something else right mm -hmm. it's what it's for we don't do the boss fights i mean we've done a couple of boss fights but we don't try and go through the plot we just build a thing have some adventures and then stop but it requires everybody playing roughly the same amount of time and being on at roughly the same times. Like it's, yeah. it's a social experience. If it's an MMO where we're building the shared world, then you get left behind. Very easily, yeah. I mean, it only takes like a few extra minutes of not playing or not going off and collecting that extra resource or or taming in the case of... Uh... I feel the like dinosaurs. we should be putting links to some of these games. So I'm going to put a link for Starbound if you've not played it. Uh, it's been out for a while now. Um, it's a surprisingly it... full-featured game for... Uh, what's the thing? For for the style. Like, you'd expect it to be very simplistic. But the, the team who made it really put a lot of work into it. 